Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous campaign. And um, last time we probably did everything in Lapa's Smile. And today we will do a fight against the human army. I hope we can win it. It's a level 4 demon's army, and we are a level 5 crusader army. But I really don't know if we can do this. Probably we should do some, some saving before getting into the fight. I think my army was um, getting smaller a bit because of the Lapa smile thing. Mm -hmm. hmm. A to eighty-three. Is there anyone who can do um, this? Uh, Skeleton sharpshooters, we should kill them first. Phew. A lot of damage there. Hmm, not a lot of damage there. Really? Oh, come on. That's not okay. Let's see. The sharpshooters are really strong. Okay, uh... <laughs> Ah, oh, no, 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 no. This was really stupid how I did it. <sighs> Come on, smite evil. Hmm. Let's try to kill these guys. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's do first and then do some more damage. Oh, 
Oh, the truth strike is over. Probably should do this again. Okay, um... That's that. Really? Ah, he can fly, so it doesn't matter anyway what we do. Okay, let's just cure wounds on this guy. Yay! Okay. Kill the sharpshooters. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we will win this fight, but it was... I, I had to do more stupid things that I fought first. Mm-hmm. Yay, we did it. And we got all our units back. We replenished them. Woohoo! Okay, there is another demon army, and it's a level 3 demon army. That's nice. Let's move to this one. And let's kill this one as well. Okay, let's try. We'll stay here.
What's these guys? Cultists, yeah. I don't care about them. Should have shot these anyway, because an attack right now. Oh, come on. Can you please not attack my priests? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get it. Come on. Thank you. Die, Brimorox, die. Let's do this first, and then kill these guys. Twenty-seven killed in one stroke. Nice. Okay. This was interesting. Die, cultists, die. Yeah. After the battle, one of the soldiers noticed a half a inscription on a nearby stone. What remained of the engraving led the crusaders to a secluded cave where they found a stash of miscellaneous relics that some selflessly devoted garrix had managed to rescue from fallen dresden. They also discovered masks of signified oil and boxes and reagents for rituals and sacred masses. It would appear the brave priests hid their sacred artifact in one final attempt to save them from demonic threat. Okay, we got some material points and energy points. That's accepted. There is a level 7 army. We won't attack level 7 army. 250 skeletons? Really? What's that skeleton? I mean, they don't take and 60 skeleton sharpshooters and another 60. Oh my gosh. This is a strong army. Well, we won't attack them. Primitive altar. Okay. Move... 
to our thing. And now you, inconspicuous camp. This was the thing that we wanted to look at, didn't we? But now we can go, no, we can go down here to the reliable redoubt. Okay, let's move there then. Let's help the Hell Knights out. Uh, probably not right now. Close. No, we don't want to enter. We just want to take a nap. You know, you lucked out with your horns. At least yours don't tear a hole in every hood you wear. But we'd be even luckier if... We never had the damn things in the first place. Mm hmm Okay. We did fine. We did fine. I think we will stop for today. There is also healing armor. <clears throat> Demon fortification. These are ash giants. Six of them. And fallen knights. And omoxis. Doesn't look, look nice. Oh, there is a level 3 demon army. Let's do this one next. And a level 5 demon army. That's okay. How do we get there, I think? I don't know. Okay, let's enter the reliable redoubt. <clears throat> <laughs> I think this is nice, uh, because what we are playing here is a adventure book for Pathfinder. You can buy this as a, uh, as a uh, pen and paper. Uh, what did I do? Wrong. Okay, why is this? Oh, Yaka. We see this guy. So it must be important to get to him. Looks like the Hell Knight continued to fight the Gargoyle even from the air. They both fell into the rocks and perished. Okay. Interesting. Commander, come here quickly. From the mountain you see a raided camp and Two groups of warriors, one wearing white and yellow armor, the other in black. They are led by a tall man in white priest robes. Some of the warriors glance around fretfully, their weapons shaking in their hands. You hear the screams of gargoyles from above, approaching the camp. Okay. Quickly, evacuate the wounded. The beasts are about to strike again. Use cloaks as stretchers. We've got to make it through. Paralictor, your people will have to cover us while... Two more minutes left out in the open, 
and neither you nor I will have any troops left to order about Crusader. Okay. Guy looks interesting. <laughs> what kind of a race is this? An orc? But the wounded. No, it's a uh, it's a gnome. Hmm. Retreat to shelter. <laughs> yep. If the man in white has anything further to add, his words are drowned out by the shrieks of gargoyles as they fall from the sky. Can we do something about it? The paralictor will lead the unit to shelter. We need to get through to them. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Can't you just, I mean... That's... That's my boy. Let's sneak attack him. Come on. Don't attack me. Bad gargoyle. Bad, bad gargoyle. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's take a five foot step first. And then let's... Can we entangle them? I mean, can we do it without entangling our guys? Pig, kill. That's that. Okay, Sila, let's do this on the Gargoyle Hunter and kill him. No glory risk. Oh, nice critical hit. Endure this. Okay, Ember, you'll do... No, wait. Burning hands? Uh, probably not. Uh, although they have no immunities to fire, so we probably could do it. Oh, we hit myself as well. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, first of all, um, let's just tell them to go away. Let's try this way. Thank you. Hmm. 
This was um, easier than I thought. Okay. Let's just move action then. That's a fiendish gargoyle hunter. It's only level 5. That's it. I mean, it's two of them, but... What's the difference between a fiendish gargoyle hunter and a gargoyle hunter? That one's probably worse. So, let's kill the fiendish first, if possible, if we don't hit the one again. Surrender or else. Yeah, or else we don't do anything. Uh, no. The second time that we only hit the... We only rolled a one. Really? Then, please... You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Do your worst. Kill it. Thank you. And you... Um, how about... Into the plus. Good. Hey, where does this guy come from? Really? This was really, really badass what you just said. This doesn't seem like you, Amber. Mm -hmm. Mulchif and Len are the two guys who are doing the killing. map yeah looks like we'll have to go there yaka let's loot everything or at least the magic stuff The sight before you is at once macabre and picturesque. A lifeless couple, a man and a woman, dressed in white and yellow priest's robe, lie on the ground, surrounded by the bodies of dead gargoyles. They are tangled in death. Monsters are tearing at the human's clothes, and the largest gargoyle's talon has pierced the man's chest and tongue. Okay. But before they died, he or his companion defeated the enemy. Suddenly, the woman opened her eyes. She doesn't look at you, but stares up at the world wound's horrific sky. Her pale lips open and she exhales abruptly. The sun will never rise again. There's only darkness above me. Even the sky here is cursed, and we alone with it. Okay, Yaka, walking in front, steps over the man's body without looking, but turns around at the si sound of the woman's voice. The Mandavian faithful breaks too easily. 
Oh, if all Mandavian devotees broke easily, I would be much happier. Unfortunately, most of them have good, have good health, unconquerable will, and a never-ending desire to moralize. Darren is cheering, but looks at the wounded woman with hesitation. He shrugs. She's not just wounded. I can see the signs of severe exhaustion. I wonder what happened here. All people are easily broken. The knights in pale armor help each other through the horror, but the knights in black only break each other and everyone around them. Ah. Oh. Okay, we can do something good. We can heal the woman. You need help. You'll feel better now. Or, who are you? What happened here? Or, evil, step over the wounded woman and walk away. Okay, we won't do that. Not even a true neutral person would do that. Would he? Probably. Don't know. Let's heal her and do the next thing. Evil. Spend your efforts on someone who can be helped. Leave me. My crusade is over. Okay, then let's do an evil thing right afterwards. That Ari, the gargoyles could return at any moment. So we did a evil and a bad thing, uh, and a good thing. Interesting. Let's just plunder her. There's a gargoyle left. It's a level 5 gargoyle. We should take time to get the next level. Yeah. This we will do. I will do mine probably and the others I will take the suggestions again. Yeah, let's see. Let's do this first. Mm -hmm. Student of War. Hmm. Something like that would be quite nice, I think. <laughs> Eldritch Knight. Ability to cast Arcane Spell, third level. No. Dragon Discipline. Arcane Trickster. That's something you should do with, um, probably with Volchif or something. Yeah, let's take another level of the Hunter. We get a feat. Ooh, that we get. Oh no, it's a skill point, not an ability point. Yeah, let's take these to maximum. Let's give one here and one here. Okay, we need a... Uh, well, we could take rapid shots. Yeah, why not? That's good. 
That's really good rapid shot, so. And we get one spell and two level three spells. Interesting. Um, I want stuff that helps. What does it is it more to bite attack the oh good. Let's take this but for the animal companion. So two level three spells. Necromancy. Hmm. Magic Fang Greater. That's good. I'm pretty sure about that. Let's take this one. Poison? No. Soothing Mud. Probably an interesting spell because it does uh, 1d4 four points of ability damage. Dominate animal? Nope. What's that? This spell functions as chameleon stride, except it confers its bonuses upon all allies within ten feet. Um, yeah, that's that's nice, but I don't know what chameleon stride does. Probably something <clears throat> that you can um, move without being seen, or something like that. If an affected creature moves more than 10 feet away from you, it loses the benefit of the spell. Creatures that move into the area after the spell is cast do not gain its benefit. I don't like that. Life Blast. When you cast the spell, you draw the life force from the surrounding land and hurl it. At your enemies, dealing 1d6 points of energy damage per caster level to any undead creatures in the spell's area. Well, it's like an um, electric blast. <laughs> oh, oh, what a lightning bolt, but with life energy. It's probably better than an. Uh, than a uh, lightning bolt because you, even if you hit some of your allies, they normally don't take damage because they are resist energy communal. That's probably good. Yep. Let's take this one. And complete. And now let's take Philomucus level seven. It's the best pick ever. We can get a feet. Ah. We could take medium barding because because um, we have this bond. Let's take it. Okay, I will do these in between episodes. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.